In this video, we will discuss some tips and tricks to best organize your Google Drive. Remember your Google Drive is where you can store docs, slide sheets, and files that you've created in Winsville or that have been shared to you. Inside of my drive, you'll see that I have some folders and documents. Right now, I'm in what's called grid view. If you wanna change from grid view to list view, if you look in the right corner next to the information tab, the view details tab, you'll see a little button that's called list view. When you click it, it will change you to list view. When I click back, it changes to grid view. So just know that option is there to help you view your drive in two different ways. The first tip is to use folders to organize your documents or files. To create new folders, you'll go to the top left-hand corner. You'll see I already have a ninth grade folder here. I need to add a 10th, 11th, and 12th grade folder. So I'm gonna click my new button, and then I'm gonna click my folder button to create a new folder. One tip is to create a folder for each of your years in Winsville School District. That way, you can easily search by year. Once we create our year folders, then we can go in and create additional folders within those year folders if we would like to do that. This is just one way you can organize your Google Drive. Once I've added those folders in there, I can then tap on that folder. And there are several ways to do this. When you tap on any folder or any document, you're going to see three stacked dots come up at the top. This is called More Actions. From this menu, you can go and change the color of your folder. Another way to do this is to tap with both fingers or right click and then go to change color. Changing the color of each folder helps you visually know that you're in the right place and helps you be more organized with your drive. So we can go in and change those folders. You may also know, because I'm currently in ninth grade in this example, I have put a little emoji next to that ninth grade folder to help me know my current year. To add emojis next to the title of any of your documents or to add it next to a folder, one way to do this on your Chromebook is to use the following keyboard shortcut. Your search button plus shift plus space or your launcher button plus shift plus space should launch your emoji, emoji keyboard whenever you're getting ready to type into text. So I can go in here, and let's say I wanna edit the, the name of my 10th grade folder. I'm gonna to go to rename here, and then I can click that keyboard shortcut to bring up my emojis, and then I can add an emoji to my folders as well. Once we've created these folders, we can move into the folder by double-clicking. Notice that I can double-click on the folder under my grid area here. Or on the left hand side, I can click the arrow next to my drive to expand out a list of all of my folders in my drive. I'm going to double click into 10th grade. Once I'm in 10th grade folder, so you'll see at the top are my breadcrumbs that lets me know what folder I'm in. Now I can go press my new button again and create a new folder inside of my 10th grade folder. I may find that it's more useful to have each subject within that 10th grade folder, so I can go add in and add ELA, science, math, etc. Let's go back to my drive. Let's talk about how to move items into folders. The simplest way to move an item into a folder is to simply click the item you want to move, press down on that item to hold it, and then you are going to drop it into the correct folder. Another way, if you find that you have quite a few items inside of your drive, is to use the left side navigation and to drop from the middle of your drive into those folders here. You'll find that there are always a few ways to do things inside of drive. Another way would be to right click or select the item, use your three stack lines, and then you can go to move to if you would prefer to choose that folder that way. Speaking of folders, you may have on your drive folders called titles like Assignments, Classroom, Winsville, and We Video. These are folders that I did not make myself, but were made for me when I connected my drive to products or tools like We Video, Canvas for Google Assignments, or Google Classroom. It's always a good idea to not mess with these folders. Don't delete them and don't delete items within them. You can move them into other folders if you'd like, 
but make sure you don't delete them or change any items in there because these folders are helpful on Canvas or Classroom or ReVideo to hold those assignments that are connected to those tools. And don't forget, Google is known for its search. So if your drive is kind of a hot mess and you have a lot of items in there, try your search to help you find those items. With search, you click at the top and you can type in the name of the assignment or word from the assignment. And you can also use this little button here, which is search options. So if you know that you're searching for something that is a document, that can help narrow down your search a bit. Again, these were some tips and tricks to help you organize your Google Drive. Having an organized Google Drive helps you find items more quickly. And as you move year to year, it helps you organize your files and your folders.